Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Dear viewers, today I am going to design base plate in REFM 5.13 version. So let's start. We will go to add on module connection RF joint. Still, there is option for timber also. We will go for steel and it is design code available euro code annex annex european union here we can choose bs code also so there are a lot of options i will go for european union this column base this is the column base because we will design base plate and we have provided hinge support in our steel structure so we will go for hinged column footing if we would provide fixed fixed joint then we would go for restrained column footing so now we will go for hinged column footing here this footing will be used as a auxiliary member it will not be designed but it will be used to check the shear resistance for the anchor bolt and now we will start with this type of connection okay node and member import from structural model we will import from structural model by using this one then select this side having same section we will choose same base plate for this side and here also so this nodes we will design type 1 base plate and for the intermediate columns we will use type 2 base plate so we start with this okay yes so this is the column section imported from the model we will go for load here we will choose the load from here to here shift then click here then we will go for footing here is the dimension we can provide the dimension as pedestal we want to provide so we will go for the length of the the dimension of the web height that means web height is 350 we will provide here 750 here you see and in this side 300 we we'll provide 700 depth we will provide the pedestal depth for example 900 millimeter okay route thickness and other things i am keeping by as by default and there there is option if concrete is cracked then we will provide this one i am leaving this one base plate and weld this is the base plate material we can use grade 50 also okay here the plate length plate length at least i want to give 50 millimeter both side so 450 plate width 400 plate thickness I'll use 12 milli and allow transfer of compression by contact between the column and base plate. We will use this option. Well done, flange 6 and well done, I'm 6 millimeter oil thickness and anchor. Now, there are there is this option for number of anchor is only two available in this program. Now, maybe later on they will provide other options also so we will design for two number of anchor we we'll provide the diameter 16 or we'll check first 12 millimeter then we, if it is it becomes failed then we will go for other sections class this one anchor bolt with head i will use bolt condition good and installation safety normal 
use the detection factor for anchor bar with cut threads beta this is the anchor bar cut threads uh, detection for the anchor bar joint according to the code this is this we will use anchor length we will use 350 millimeter and the distance i will use 65 millimeter from the edge okay and i will use circular washer shape this i will keep same as it is and anchor head rectangular and this i will keep same then i will go for shear transfer <coughs> without shear key if it is passing then we don't need to provide if it it uh, needs shear key then we will provide we will calculate this joint now uh, this is coming to us this 4.13 so we'll change this plate and weld this okay and here this plate if i keep 400 and 350 let's see what happens the thickness and core m12 5.6 and this is 14 350 and other things are okay i will check 2.5 weight the ratio you can go for again go for check again this okay thickness i think anchor size we have to increase okay then calculate 1.73 now we will provide share key let's see this is share resistance filer we will provide share transfer share key okay this four milli and length 130 let's provide 125 then calculation so it is passing so we can use maybe 14 millimeter anchor let's check okay calculation 4377 okay so this is okay now and now we can see the graphics so this is our graphics mode back then okay now we will design intermediate column we have to create new connection so i start this one five new case node number a uh, design number two okay now we will go for node and member select this then okay now load from here to here then footing we will provide the as it is we will see the member 450 then we will use 850 800 900 and other i will keep same this plate well this one we have used before 150 let i'll keep same as it is coming with the program anchor i'll use 60 length 65 millimeter is distance circular okay share transfer i will use share key 125 for really weld on flanges and web this share key welded with the flange and web for really thickness oil thickness now we will do calculation so it has been passed okay this is the graphics back okay 
now this is our connection plate base plate design in RFEM we can see other joints also okay so in this way we can design base plate in RFEM if we would provide fixed support we would go for restrained column footing so this is our base plate design uh, thanks for watching stay tuned uh, with my channel by subscribing uh, press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update